Hi, right, good morning, guys. <coughs> what I've got here is I've got the uh, the wooden plate with the coils mounted, and I'm uh, going after two locations that are beside each other just to get a relationship. And I'm getting uh, about four volts peak to peak, and uh, on each of the coils, and you can see there's a uh, uh, I guess it's 90 degrees or 180. I can't really tell. No, I think it's 90 degrees. That's kind of interesting. But uh, I had quite a job mounting this thing. It's taken like three days. And uh, just to give you an idea here, the wooden plate. That's the uh, flywheel with the magnets. There, it's about maybe an eighth of an inch space. The closer you get, the more voltage you get, and uh, so everything's everything's cool there. But I did an awful lot of shimming, and oh my God, what a friggin' job! It's crazy, and uh, so anyway, that's that's what it looks like, the beast. So now we know what it produces at an eighth of an inch from it, and. Uh, Still haven't heard anything from China on the boards, and uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know what the, I don't know what's going on in China. Of course, Chinese probably don't even know. But anyway, if I move these down, you can see there's about. It's interesting waveform. <laughs> Pretty cool. If I measure it, this is 3.68 volts peak to peak. This is channel 1 It's measuring. Uh, max 1.92 volts. Now the coils are 300 turns and there's two coils. They're dual, but I'm just monitoring uh, one on each set. And uh, so there's a lot, of, a lot of possibilities. Add them up and parallel them, series, parallel, whatever. Maybe even uh, resonate them. And see what it gets for output but it definitely produces voltage so that's cool